Welcome to Good Mythical More. I love a good personality test. Can't Especially get if enough. it's about me. We're gonna do the cube personality test. Whatever that is. Uh, but first we're gonna name that squad. What do you call a group of bears? Bears, you got a, you got a, you got a, a darkness of bears. They're deep in a cave. This really feels, first of all, most bears Cadre. Are, are like, just. it's just a little family. It's family. Like a, it's like a mom and, and the cubs. And like the the dad bear is not like, he doesn't hang out with his family, I don't think. Yeah. I think all bears are deadbeat dads. He just go, he goes off and drinks beer. Yeah, beer drinking bear. With a bear beer belly. With a bear beer belly. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're saying. A sleuth of bears. Yeah, that's what we were getting at. That's what we were getting to. I wish you hadn't given us the answer. A sleuth of bears. Huh. Wow. Bears Seeing one bear will make is lucky. Seeing a bears whole sleuth. Sleuthy? Huh. What do you think the cube personality test is? Just another personality test that gets people excited and probably doesn't mean anything. I think I think it's the one like this that you put on paper that you fold into a cube and then you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm actually not gonna tell you. I don't really want to tell you what it is. I want to oh, lead you through it. the exercise because I don't want like the, that information to cloud the actual test itself. Okay. So we can circle back to it. But basically, this is going to involve you and everybody watching um, immersing themselves in their own thoughts as I as I lead you through a scenario. Oh, so this is a this is like a guided uh, meditation visualization. Somewhat. Yeah, a guided vis visualization. I would okay. say. All Luckily, right. I don't have to so, say that word uh, at any other point. So join us right now. All right. I'm so close. I, I think close your eyes. I think it'll be better if you close your eyes. And I'm going to need you to think of a cube in an open room. I need you to take yourself there. What's it, What do you mean an open room? Like a room whatever, where the door's not locked? Whatever you envision an open room to be. So I'm not going to dictate to you anything <clears throat> you see beyond the general. But I need you to think of yourself in a specific open room okay. with a cube. All right, I'm doing it. Yep, I've got it. I need you to think about how big the cube is. Mm -hmm. Got it. I need you to think about what the cube is made of. Are you reading our thoughts now and processing our personality or? I, you know what, this part just involves talking from me. All you have to do is live in your own mind in this open room. I'm there, I'm there. With a cube. I know how big it is. What's its surface like? Okay. What color is the cube? Uh -huh. Okay. Where in the room is the cube? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Where is it in terms of, is it on the ground? Is it, is it floating? Is it on the wall? Is it on the ceiling? Mm. Is it transparent? <clears throat> Can you see inside the cube? Yeah. Okay, are you 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 feel like you've fully immersed yourself in your own room with your own cube? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sitting, ask you to I'm sitting on it. To remember don't, don't give anything away. Oh. Remember the cube, remember the room, and you can open your eyes. I'm gonna ask you some some questions. Okay. Man, what a cube room. All right. Okay, so what for each of you, what what was the size of your cube? Oh, the cube. Eighteen yeah. feet uh in was, every direction. Yours was a really big cube. I, well, it was 18 feet. Wow. Mine was, uh, I was going to say 18 to 24 inches. Rather small. Yeah, I, I, like like two feet by two feet, like this. Okay. Like this high. Yeah, mine was it's three times my height. Okay, so the size of the cube represents your ego. <laughs> This is not accurate. 18 feet for him. Tall. I mean, maybe so, for me, but a small cube might also mean big ego, right? No, I literally said the opposite of that. The surface of the cube. So how? What? What was your the surface of your cube like? Smooth. 
Um, very smooth. Like very smooth. As smooth as a a baby's ego. Like at first you're like, is that is it is it is that wood or plastic? It's kind of a it's very it's hard to tell, but it seems like it was molded and totally smooth. Yeah, mine's up. Mine's it could be it could be plastic. Okay, so the surface of the cube represents what is visibly observable about your personality, or maybe it's what you want others to think about you. That was so smooth. You both had smooth cubes. I'm pretty smooth. Which means you're gentle people who take care not to hurt others or make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, but it might be a smooth cube, but if it's 18 feet tall, I mean. <laughs> That's not comforting. It might you should just worry the whole time. I don't want you to feel comfortable. I just want this to be all about me. <laughs> okay, what about the uh, the color of your cubes? Red. Um, semi translucent. Okay, so the color of the cube is more in depth analysis. Each color can represent an emotion or an entire personality altogether. Okay, I would say bluish, translucent blue. Just okay. if that helps you for me. Solid, opaque red. Okay, so red. You are physically active and enjoy rich sensory experiences. Oh yeah, I'm touching stuff all the time. You've got ri you like rich sensory experiences, like yeah, you yeah. got to like like Ronstadt, our podcast. Oh, it's so immersive. <laughs> oh, so you had to pay more for it. And so, Link, you you're more on the blue side. You said, yeah, bluish hue. Yeah, big. So yeah. <laughs> you are intelligent and respect others' ideals. Ideals? Yeah, I, was gonna, I read it as ideas at first, and then I swerved into ideals, which is what it really says. Yeah. Okay, and you know what? I respect that about you. My swerve? Okay, yeah. I, got, I see what you did there. Okay. Um, okay, in some cases, the physical char characteristics are unique. A cube with a transparent surface, which is what you said, Link, mm -hmm. means you tend to let others know how you feel on the inside. You are confident enough to show your inner thoughts and you are deeply sincere. You know that you're good inside and guess what? It shows. Oh. That's what most people see in you as well. Okay, Aww. so, okay, so. And there's a I lot wear my, to see. I wear my heart on my sleeve as long as everybody's talking about my heart. <laughs> okay. None of these other things apply to you guys, but if they apply to anybody at home, I'm just gonna go through them. A cube made out of water or ice indicates that you let external elements influence you completely. Your personality is sensitive to social pressure, relationships, and other environmental factors. And this uh, is 100% sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. by the way. So whatever Stevie's saying, when it does it's apply scientific. to you, it applies to you as deeply as possible yeah. and as broadly as possible. And it should impact all of the decisions that you make. Yep. Moving forward, right, like yeah. the smallest decisions, take it seriously. To like, and but and you should try to make more life-altering decisions in light of what you're learning here as soon as possible. Right. We actually so that, are planning on putting a title card at the front yeah, of this more that like, that that does say, say all of that. Yeah. He, also, heavy machinery, like you should like operate. You should heavy operate machinery. heavy machinery. You should move uh, cubes as it. soon as possible. We talked about that Go 18 ahead, foot Stevie. cube though. Go ahead, Stevie. Hollow cube means that you're primarily concerned with your outside appearance with far less care for what's going on within. And then a cube made out sense. of metal or rock indicates that you have solid integrity. Mm. This is this is this is all um weird. It's not it's not cryptic enough. It's it gets it's very practical. So I just, I, I I'd be more into it if it was like more mysterious like Oh, if your what? box is transparent, it means that you or have from Maryland. You have unaccessed powers of scent that perhaps you can will blossom with age. Wow. Would you be more into it if it was about a horse? Yeah. Is that an option? Yeah, yeah. So I need you to close your eyes again. We're oh, going on a different horse. personal journey. Be Everybody before at home. Before we do, can can we can we promote that coin? Yes, now would be right, the time to promote you don't your have, coins. You don't have many I want you to close your eyes and picture to, to to get this thing. I want you to close your eyes and picture a black box that I just opened up to show you the GMM two thousandth episode commemorative coin. Mm. Co Which coin I, hands McLaughlin. Coin hands really knows how to spin this thing. You're gonna want this because um, 
you're going to want to say that you were a part of this when we did our 2000th episode. And as Only we available have through July 30th. And this isn't why. You should get it because you should have a piece of history. But just know that the, if, if the 1000 episode coin is in the indication, uh, there's going to be a limited supply of these, and then people are going to sell them on eBay for large prices. Yeah, so this, this is a money-making scheme on your, on your part. All right, Stevie, I'm picturing a horse, you say? Yep, yep. Close your eyes. You're pic picturing a horse. Okay. One horse. Yeah. And you think about the color of the horse very specifically, what the horse looks like. Yeah. I need you to think about what the horse is doing that you're picturing. Mm hmm And where is it in relation to the cube? that you were thinking about earlier. You're making this up. I am reading off of a sheet of paper so somebody else could really be making this up. I didn't know the up. cube was still there. You know what? Neither did I until I read that sentence. <laughs> I thought this was a totally different test from a totally different website. No, You're no. You're in this cahoots is all, with the cube this site. This is all the cube. Okay. Okay, so you have your horse. You have your horse's color. You have your horse's activity. Yeah. And you yeah. have your horse in relation to the cube. Yeah. Okay, you can open your eyes. Your horse better be inside your cube because there's plenty of room for it. <laughs> it apparently it was because I didn't even know there was a cube there. You know, it's like, oh, I'm in the cube. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's where the horse is. Inside this barn that is my cube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The horse represents your ideal partner. It could be playing, running around, or grazing right next to your cube or clear across the room. Well, what, what were your horses doing? My horse was just standing there. My horse was also standing there being real cute about it. <laughs> Cause it, I mean it. You were sexually attracted to your horse? No, cute, It. this is no ordinary horse, you know what I'm saying? I think I was heavily influenced by. You don't know what I'm saying? It's a miniature horse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, you knew that. I'm heavily influenced by. Yeah, of course the world's largest horse exhibit that we went to at the state fair. Oh God, ugh, yeah, I remember that. What, what's, why did you say ugh? It was a beautiful horse, it was a Clydesdale. Well, I mean, you look up and you're seeing this junk. That's how huge it was. Well, I, I mean, you're- I Oh, you're, I'm underneath the junk of the world's largest horse. I think you're focusing too much on the horse penis. I, um. It's not just the penis, the whole package. Your ideal partner. <laughs> He's a miniature horse. Well, yeah. I, apparently my um, ideal partner is well hung because well, yeah. I was thinking about a, the world's largest <laughs> horse that's a Clydesdale. It was a big freaking horse. It was grotesquely large, and, um, but it was proportional. You know, I feel like if I was in your seat, I also, my horse would be just standing there. That's not an option, apparently. Oh. Um, if your horse was playing, which I've never seen a horse do, but okay, your ideal partner doesn't take life too seriously and or get bogged down by little stuff. If your horse was running, that I've seen, your ideal partner will respect your space and give you the alone time that you crave. And if your horse was sleeping or grazing, your ideal partner is calm and fully committed to you. Grazing. Now, yeah, that's that's like standing. I think they were. Yeah, sure. Calm and fully committed to me. I what love about that. the um, the color? Brown. brown. Both brown? Yeah. I mean, I, I've fallen out of touch with Mini Wheat, um, my miniature horse. I know people want to know if I have an active relationship with Mini Wheat. You guys Honestly, going through something? I don't. What? Did, are you guys going through something? Um. Mini Wheat's doing Mini Wheat's thing, and I'm doing my thing, and we know we love each other, and we're it, when we need each other, we'll be there. But it's we've drifted, yeah. I hate to break it to you, Link. We received some news about Mini Wheat that uh, we haven't told you for this reason, very reason right now. I don't know why I'm bringing it up. Well, tell me. I'd rather not. I'd rather not say. It seems like you're joking about Mini Wheat being dead. I know I wouldn't do that. Or Mini Wheat's actually dead. Either way, it seems like we all lose. <laughs> it's, it's not a tasteful joke, man. Uh, so what is it? There's plenty of room for dead Mini Wheats inside your giant ass cube. <laughs> <laughs> what a heartless. <laughs> I'll tell you. We can just stack them up one on top of another. 
Dude, let me tell you, you, you are crushing my ego right now, and there's, but, but apparently there's a lot of it. Uh. No, I, actually, we have not received news about Mini Wheat, but I, I was, am, I am interested. What I was saying was, I was picturing Mini Wheat because I, I feel like it's time to reconnect. Yeah. Where is Mini Wheat um, located? Where is that don't sanctuary? I, well, let me tell you about your horse's brown color. Okay. We're both brown. You, you prize comfort and reliability above all else. Otherwise, you don't have any specific set of expectations for your partner. Yeah. Easy to please. At our age, definitely. If your horse was black, like, your ideal partner is dominant, seductive, and sophisticated. And if your horse was white, you value loyalty and trust more than anything else in a relationship. And if your horse is a completely different color than the ones you list, listed, than I listed above, eh, it means you value originality and independence in a partner. Hmm. My Clydesdale does have like some little white feet, like right above, right above where the the big feet go out. It was just like. He had just dipped his little feet in, in white paint. Okay, now for the most important part. Okay. The distance from your cube. What were what were you feeling about the distance from your my cube? My Clydesdale is just straddling my cube. Of course, his giant penis is resting on top of it <laughs> because it's got to it's got to be held up by something. Look, man, you you need to be sincerely participant. If this is going to impact your life, you got to be real no, about it. No, he. Where was the where was the horse? In the middle of the room, and so I didn't think and when, about, there was no cube. It, it wasn't until she said, "Where's the cube?" I guess I guess it's she's straddling it. Really? Yeah. Does that is that an answer? Straddling it? He's just on top of the cube. He's mounted the cube. No, no, it's just. Uh. It's underneath. If it's very near the cube, which well, it I seems guess I like get, this horse is very is near the cube. I should get my answer. Um, well, I was going to say because I didn't know a cube was there that it was just really far away. So far away that I didn't see it, I guess. Okay. But then you were trying to say, but maybe you're in it. And I'm like, maybe yeah, I was. Maybe you are inside of it. So I, I'd like to pick between those two. Okay. Well, being inside the cube actually was not, not a an choice. option. <laughs> Uh, that means resting my mate is your inside large of me. penis on the cube, also not a choice. Oh, but essentially, lost. if you're near the cube, it indicates you prefer relationships where you spend most of your time with your partner. And if the horse is farther away, it indicates an, a need for your partner to understand and accommodate your desire for alone time. Oh, what, I think it means that you didn't say there was a cube until too late in the process. Yeah, you. don't read into it. Now, if you're inside the cube. I guess we can, we know what that means based yeah, on. You want to yeah. be, you want your partner inside you. Yeah. yeah. Order the limited edition 2000th episode coin available now through July 30th at mythical.com.